So we are gonna try some mochi. They're so pretty. I actually got some new brushes from Coastal Scents. He didn't really like Rachel at first, but we'll see how it is. My sister loves Rachel, apparently. If Waboom guy gets it, we'll know this show is rigged. Hey guys, happy Monday, May 22nd. We are actually on our way to get Ryan's pouring license. I had a pen in my ear so you could tell, but now I don't have it. He thinks he's so cool because now he's a bar back, so he wears this damn freaking pen in his ear all the time when I get in his car. He's so Where'd weird. Where'd you put it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> so we're going to the Avalon area to get his pouring license because it's like at the police station, right? Yeah. Do you have to take a test now? <laughs> I already, I don't, there's no test. Oh. I should have filled an application and they took all my fingerprints, took a uh -huh. picture of me and everything. Oh, okay. Well, good, that was easy. And today starts another week of training or like, are you actually like, like working out? Two now? days of like, I have like sanitation basics and all that stuff. Uh huh. And then I'll do a shift after that, and then I'll do a shadow shift where I follow someone okay. after I do two hours of training. Gotcha. My boyfriend is gonna be missing the whole summer due to his job. One of his shifts is from like 5.30 to 2 a.m. or something like that. I wanna go to Blick Art Materials just to look at like pens and stuff like that. And oh, I also need to get an oil change. So we decided to come to Whole Foods after we got the porn license. What'd you get? What is that? Pesto chicken. Pesto chicken. That one. Sir? Yeah. I think it was less burnt. So we are gonna try some mochi. He's never tried it before, so I'm gonna make him. What do you want, coffee or chocolate? Oh my god, which one? <laughs> coffee or chocolate? Uh, I'm gonna get green tea. coffee one and my green tea one and I'm gonna make him try it after he eats his pizza. First impression, what do you think it is? It's hard. Uh, ice cream in it or something? Mm-hmm. Uh, doesn't smell like anything, but let's see. Let's do it. Do you like it? Let me see inside. Like chewy ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, my breakfast for today. So we're in Black Art Materials right now, and I wanted to get these really cool pens that I saw on Instagram. But now I don't know because I can't even test them. They don't even have like paper out. They're called Tom Bad Dual Brush Pens. They're so pretty. They're for like lettering and stuff like that. I'm just like drawing. For writing letters. I don't know. I kind of wanted to get some, but I can't even test them. So like I don't even know how they work. Well, I've seen how they work, but I want to test them for myself. You know what I mean? I really wish I was back in high school just so I could take like ceramics classes and art classes. I used to love like playing with clay. Yeah, she used and to be a jabber mean... walking too. <laughs> oh, it smells bad. That's what size babies look like. Hey! Maybe you're a baby too. Shit. <laughs> Don't talk like that. <laughs> Golden child. Ryan's gonna get this desk for his creative needs. So we are at the fastest oil change place on the planet. We're timing him. Started at 12, like, what is it? 45? We got $13 off pretty good. Yeah, we got $13 <laughs> off because we're cool like that. You take a little more oil than my stores. Yeah. Here's my truck though. My Land Rover took a lot of, my Land Rover took like double the oil other people took. Dang. Because I always pay so much for oil changes. It probably would have costed the same amount at Cadillac, right? How much was it? I think it was like 50 the last time I got it done. How much is it here though? Oh, I think it was like, well, it was like 58 minus 13, but plus six. Ryan said it would be 25. That's what we were saying, but they probably didn't get something. Oh. Well, guys, that took about, let's say 15 minutes. But usually an oil change takes up to like a day. So that was pretty good, I guess. Good thing Ryan comes with me to like these boy things and like to get my car fixed and stuff like that sometimes because if he didn't I would not have known anything and I probably would have paid like a hundred dollars because you know when they're like 
telling you all what you need and like, oh, you need to get this. Buy a air filter. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I almost said yes to an air filter because he was like, oh, but today it's like twelve dollars or whatever. And Ryan was like, no, they're just trying to sell you on it. You can get it cheaper somewhere else, and you can do it yourself. So, good thing he was with me because I totally would have said yes to that and probably five other things. Maybe I will film a video today. I kind of want to put on makeup and get pretty for some reason just because like I haven't done it in a while But tonight I am watching The Bachelor with my mom and my sister So I'm gonna go over to my sister's apartment. So update the guy from the oil change place called me And I didn't really answer because I'm like so over answering like phone numbers I don't know because I get so many calls from like solicitors So he left me a voicemail and I listened to it like two minutes after he left it and I was like Pretty much pulling into my driveway at this point so he was like hi ma'am um we left a screwdriver under your um like front car roof i don't know what it's called can you come back so we can get it out and i was like are you kidding me and it's not like so far away but it's just annoying because it's like all these like u-turns and shit and like it's like a good 15 minute drive there and then a good 15 minute drive back so I called Ryan and I told him that and he was like, oh my god, you need to like kind of take advantage and get like something out of it. So I gave him my infamous stank face. I think they were like already planning to give me like a discount, but they gave me like a 50% off discount on my next thing that I get done. But also I was like thinking about it. If you have like a bad experience with a company or like a service or anything like that, not that I'm saying they were horrible. It was just kind of annoying that I had to drive back, but... I feel like they always give you discounts on like their brand. They don't even just give you like your money back or anything. And it kind of doesn't make sense because if you had a bad experience, why would you go back? You know what I mean? But now I'm on my way home and maybe I'll do my makeup and film a video. I'm not really sure. I got this new light box. I think that's what it's called or a letter box or something. And it's pretty much one of those boxes that lights up and you can make it say like anything you want it to say. So I made it say do it for the gram and Ryan said you should like change it every video, which I think would be really cute and like I could put it in the back of my video. Hey guys, so I'm back home and I'm doing my makeup. It is like about to storm outside and that is literally like taking all of the motivation out of me. But I'm trying to like just put on makeup so I can like be like Sonali, you have makeup on. You gotta film a video because you can't waste makeup. So I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now. I actually got some new brushes from Coastal Scents. They look like this and they're really, really soft. I'm like very impressed with these brushes and I'm really excited that I got these too because I needed new brushes. Like mine are literally like the harshest things on my face. Like I feel like you can tell that it's just like kind of like hard and not soft at all. Um, so I'm really excited I got new brushes. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now. And you guys already know I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. So I'm done with my makeup and I just realized that I feel like I don't have like any lipsticks or liquid lips or any lip products that I love right now. Like I'm so over everything, one. Secondly, I have no idea where a lot of my favorites are right now. So, you know, that's that's a big one. Um, but I really want to like buy some new liquid lips like off Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Like they look really nice, but I'm pretty sure like each one is like almost $20 so that's kind of insane but please leave your recommendations for like any lip formula ever in the comments down below like even if it's a liquid lip or a lipstick or a lip crayon or a lip balm not really a lip balm because I think I'm I'm good for that but I, I just really want like nicer colors in my collection I just don't know really where to look I'm struggling here because I literally just made this lip thing up like I mixed a few so <laughs> so right now I'm just trying to like get some inspiration on what I should film. I literally don't know what to film. And I do have like an ongoing list of things that I should film or like things that subscribers have wanted me to film. But the thing is, a lot of them are tutorials on how to do makeup or hair and I'm already done up. So I like wanted one that I could just like sit down and talk. 
but also leave any video requests down below because this summer I'm gonna try to knock out as many as I can with my you know white background and everything so I think I decided to do the TMI tag so I'm just setting up like all my lights right now this light actually broke so I have to like tape it So I just got really hungry and I heated up some butter chicken and naan and obviously I'm not gonna like eat all that. I'm gonna transfer it into a little bowl so I can eat a little bit. But I'm so excited. I haven't had butter chicken in forever. I just edited a whole vlog and this one is my Amazon Prime haul. And in this vlog, I show you guys what I think about the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. When I showed it on my Instagram stories, I know a lot of you guys wanted to see like a whole video about it. And if you guys want me to, I could do like even more of an in-depth review about it. But this is just kind of like the basics so go check that out if you're interested in getting that um, concealer because it's really good I mean I'll just save it for that vlog and you guys can go watch it then I'm about to leave for my sister's apartment and I just need to like pack up my bag I think I'm gonna bring my computers the vlogs exporting right now so I'm gonna upload it when I get there and what else do I need to bring probably water and stuff like that we can't do this <laughs> Apparently her door is like, what is it? Like what would you it's say? It's like stuck because it got swollen due to humidity. <laughs> We're watching Blackish. I've never watched this show, but it's really funny. And the episode is them at Disney World. And I was just telling Nisha that like when I left Orlando, I literally hear like everything about Orlando. Like there's this radio station here in Georgia that's giving a free trip to Orlando away. And like what? I don't know which one, but anyways, it's just like crazy how much I hear about Orlando now that I left. It's like, it's like it's fate. It's calling me back, but I'm actually going back soon. But my mom just called and she said that she made us chocolate covered strawberries and dal and rice. So that's like one of my favorites. So I'm really excited and I just uploaded my vlog. And we also thought that Bachelorette started at 8, but it actually starts at 9. So. I mean, how do old people who actually have jobs, I like, agree. stay up? I agree. We got a life. Yeah, and, like, honestly, it probably is, like, three hours long since it's the first one. We are watching The Bachelorette. My mom's here. My mom brought me doll and rice. And my mom didn't really like Rachel at first, but we'll see how it is. My sister loves Rachel, apparently. I think she's a real... Classy lady. What's your first impression? She's pretty. I'm impressed uh, with her. Um, she's a job. Yeah. Yummy. And They're almond huge. What the hell? And almond milk. Wait. Cheers. <laughs> So Rachel just gave her first impression rose to the guy that kissed her. I don't know what his name was though. I wasn't really paying attention. I was trying to paint my toenails, which I was getting frustrated with. You know, I'm not that flexible as I was when I was younger. It really sucks. I feel like the first episode's always like the most boring. Like it's interesting, kind of, but it's so cliche. Like the one guy drinks too much, then there's the one crazy guy and then they all get mad that this guy got the first rose, you know what I mean? So like, it only gets really good when it's like, like, yeah, dates and like, a couple episodes in. Yeah, when they go to like, cool places and stuff, that's my favorite. The rose ceremony has started. And I want you to remember that. Dun dun dun. Last rose. If Waboom guy gets it, we'll know this show is rigged. Lucas. There you go. It's rigged. Oh my god. What? Lucas? Yep. It's a little boom guy. Hey guys, I'm back at home and look how cute Sophie is right now in her little bed. I got her. It's a new one. Say hi. She's just the cutest. Usually I don't remember to end the vlogs, but today I did. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.